Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Joseph Nyanraj and this is Dr. Logic 360 where your health becomes smarter and simpler. Should every heart blockage be fixed with a stent or are there times when medicine alone can do the job? Let's clear the confusion. Before we talk about stents, imagine your heart as your home and its arteries as water pipes. The main pipe called the left main divides into two. One supplies the front of the heart, nicknamed the widow maker, and the other supplies the side and the back of the heart. Another pipe, the right coronary artery, supplies the right side of the heart. A stent is a tiny metal tube doctors place inside a blocked artery to keep it open, like unclogging a jammed pipe, so blood can flow freely through to the heart muscle again. The procedure is called angioplasty, which helps improve blood flow, reduce chest pain, and sometimes saves lives. Let's see when it really can make a difference and when it does not. So the stent is really needed when patients have a heart attack. When an artery is completely blocked and your heart muscles is starving for oxygen, every minute counts. A stent can reopen that artery and save your life. The next case scenario where the stent will be helpful is a chest pain that won't go away with medical management. If you have tried medications for blockage, but you still feel symptoms like chest discomfort or shortness of breath with exertion when you walk or climb stairs, a stent can bring relief. And then third, in patients, who have multiple blockages or blockages in the left main artery when they are not candidates for bypass surgery. Then stent may be used based on your discussion with your cardiologist, cardiothoracic surgeon, and you being the center of the decision-making process. So yes, stents save lives in emergencies or when you have symptoms like chest pain or shortness of breath. But what about people who are stable? Sometimes less is more. A stent isn't always the safest or best choice. If your chest pain is mild or controlled with medications, diet and exercise, that may be enough. And if you have a blockage of more than 70% and if you have no symptoms, stents may not be truly indicated. Or if the blockage in the left main artery is less than 50% or if the blockage in the other arteries are less than 70%, you may not need a stent. And then in certain situations when the risk of putting a stent is higher than the benefit, particularly in patients with renal failure or when you have a bleeding risk, doctor may not prefer doing the stent and may consider just the medical management. The best decisions are made together, you, your cardiologist, and your surgeon. They explain the benefits, the risk, and the options, medicines, stent, or surgery. So you can choose what feels right for you. A stent is not a cure. It opens the blockage, but it does not replace a healthy lifestyle. You still need to eat healthy, exercise regularly, and take your medications as your doctor prescribed, because the stent fixes the flow, not the habits. Thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. Joseph Nyandraj, and this is Dr. Logic 360, where your health becomes smarter and simpler. Thank you.